Hi. You might not realize it, but your religious beliefs, especially if you're a Christian, could make your passwords easier to crack. So these claims about being religious and making easy passwords is based on a recent research done in published in the journal for IEEE. Surprisingly, it turns out that this personal relation to your password makes your password much more predictable. It's interesting to look at the list of commonly used passwords. And if you're a Christian, you're probably going to be picking some from this list, like Jesus and John 3.16 or Heaven or I Love Jesus. Those things are more predictable than you think. So we might have an intuitive sense that this is true, but this research paper has actually measured it and they know how much more vulnerable your passwords are. So the researchers analyzed uh, various passwords from several Christian websites and regular general use websites. So they're using Christian Mingle, they're using uh, Faith Writers, and then they're looking at MySpace and Facebook. So the results were pretty clear. Those that were from a Christian website followed a predictable pattern and therefore were easier to crack. So hackers have one clever trick to do this. It's called uh, PCFG or probabilistic, I can't say that, context-free grammar. And so that is a process of taking known passwords and splitting them up into segments or words and then making them into other passwords that they can use as sort of a, a dictionary attack. So they are guessing passwords by chunks of words rather than just whole words or single letters at a time. And so this context and this uh, process is much faster than just a brute force guessing process. So in this study, the researchers took their usual model of these chunks of words and then added more Christian words to it. So they put in God, Jesus, faith, and Bible, and guess what? They found that they could improve their hacking results by up to 8% in their effectiveness. So this means that it, just being a religious person and using these personal meaning words will increase your vulnerability to hackers. But what's even more interesting is that this vulnerability was not just about the words themselves. The researchers also found that Christians, more often than not, followed similar patterns in their creation of words, whether it's the type of letters they chose, the length of the passwords, or even the absence of some special passwords. This first pie chart shows us that the proportion of total passwords that were able to be cracked is higher from the Christian group thanks to this uh, propensity to use predictable words. Finally, here's a line chart that shows the password cracking success over a period of time. What's fascinating here that the religious passwords tend to be cracked much faster compared to non-religious passwords. As you can see, the success rate of uh, guessing a Christian password climbs pretty steeply at the beginning. So this isn't just to say that the religious people are more vulnerable, but anyone that has some kind of a propensity. So if you were to be looking at a boaters group or a cyclers group or somebody that was into sports, you're probably going to be able to target another clump of vocabulary words that those people are interested in. So knowing your audience and finding out who they are and what their favorite things are is often a way to make their passwords more vulnerable to hacking. So what are some pieces of advice that you can take away from this study? Well, first of all, don't use religious words if you're a religious person, or don't use words that relate to your hobby or to websites or to clubs that you belong to, because hackers will know that and they'll take advantage of that using common passwords and common words that come from your world. Of course, a second advice is to always make your passwords longer so more letters is more effective at creating a strong password than having a jumble of letters that are hard to remember. Of course, mix it up when you can. So substitute a few symbols, make sure you got some numbers, use capitals and lowercase, add some punctuation, and that will make your password complexity even better. Use a password manager. So delegate to a computer program the, uh, the memory, you might say, of taking care of all of your passwords. You just have to remember to install the password manager on every device you use and remember the password for that one item and then all the passwords it generates for you are very long and very complex and therefore should be more secure. Lastly, make sure that you turn on two-factor authentication whenever possible. So especially for your bank accounts, for your Gmail, 
and for any kind of financially uh, sensitive items. So if uh, information security and especially software development is interesting to you, then subscribe, which is like coming to class with me. I, I teach software development at Grand Canyon University, and I often help my students with videos, but uh, people from all of, the, all of the world also come and join us. So please subscribe, and I'll see you soon.